All right, welcome back. So Ndandom Trongo from Durban is being discharged this morning. He's been recovering in hospital after the successful surgery to treat um, an excessively swollen testicle. Uh, the Laverne, a private hospital in Ladysmith, volunteered to treat the rare condition that Mklongo uh, had lived with for six years. News from Africa's Pila Mtembu has been following the story and he joins us now live from the hospital. Pila, a good morning to you. I think it's such an inspirational story for one that we do see, um, you know, someone stepping up to want to assist in Dando who's been living with this very embarrassing um, and difficult condition. But what do we know about how he's been doing in hospital? A very good morning to you, Naledi. So we have been told that Ndando is doing quite well this morning uh, here in hospital and is actually looking forward to going back home. It's been such a week for him. I mean, he's going to be walking out here free of the burden that he has been carrying for six years. Right now, I'm actually joined by Dr. Nicholas Tulanin Gorsi to speak to us. He is the urologist that performed the surgery on Dando on Tuesday uh, this week. I'm just going to bring him in for further discussion on this, Doc. A very good morning to you, and thank you so much for taking time to speak to us. You are live on Newsroom Africa. Uh, firstly, Dando is being discharged uh, today. Are you happy? I'm quite happy with the condition and it, the operation itself, it went perfectly well. Okay. And the bedding is out now, the entire mountain is out, is able to walk. And the patient has regained his confidence and is quite happy. Uh, we have discharged him today, he's going home. And he will come back for review in three weeks for further assessment and see how is the wound healing. And then, Doug, how likely are you to conduct such surgeries? Yeah, the operation went perfectly well. I don't foresee any room for a second operation. But uh, however, in such cases, you normally check such patient after three weeks and see how they are doing. And you can review them uh, six monthly and see how they are doing. If there's any other thing that needs medical attention or surgical attention, then we can address it as such. But routinely, if ever we have to operate, it will be after two years, and then the skin by then will be soft and nice and well matured, and then we are able to do anything with that. So have you dealt with similar cases in the past, Doc? Yes, I've dealt with them. And most of such cases, you hardly do any other second operation. Just uh, the first time operation, the second uh, operation, there is just no need for it. They do extremely well. And that's what I foresee with this particular case of Ndando. All right, Doc, and you know, since we told the story, um, we have had a lot of people, I've personally been receiving a lot of messages on social media. Um, and I'm wondering, why are government hospitals failing? Because one, Ndando did tell us that he was turned away not once, but twice from government hospitals. And I also received a message from someone saying that my husband has been living with this condition for 10 years and we cannot afford private hospitals. So clearly there's something that is lacking at government hospitals. That's why people are now also considering going into private hospitals. Yes, government is under a huge stress generally where patients have to be prioritized according to the emergency and how life-threatening the condition is. Because hydrocele is a fluid per se. It's not like a patient who has got a cancer that is more likely to die immediately. And uh, the expertise as well to deal with such diseases, you find that they are only localized predominantly in the tertiary centers yet you find that there are periphery hospitals with a lot of patients with these conditions, but the expertise to deal with that, they are not there. These are some of the reasons uh, why we are battling. So what I will suggest perhaps in future, if uh, there could be specialists, even if it's sessional specialists, going to the periphery hospital to help out with such cases, I think it will reduce a lot of burden especially in tertiary centers. Therefore, we'll have a speedily attendance to such cases where they present with hydrocele and they are not attended for quite a long time.
right. Thank you so much, Doc, for taking time to speak to us. And there you have it there, Dr. Uh, Tulani Ngosi, speaking to us. He is the urologist that performed the surgery on Dandam Klongo, also providing us there with an insight as to his take on why does he think that, um, you know, people never receive um, help when it comes to government hospitals, people who are dealing with the similar condition that Ndando had been dealing with for the past six years. Naledi, it's back to you. But uh, what a confidence-boosting opportunity uh, this is for Ndando, and really great that we were able to also see uh, the other side of that. Hopefully a little bit later on, Pila will be able to see um, the smile on his face as well.